Sherry here from the Flex Coming Crew. How's it going? I just finished doing an amazing twin flame reading for you guys. Oh my god, that's incredible. Okay, so this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading. I'm going to be using the John Holland deck and my cards for clarifiers. So I'm going to be doing a Celtic Wing. So this is from April, um, oh my gosh, April 21st until the 28th. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Oh, okay. So, let me just give my cards a little shuffle here. It's still a little sticky. So they're ready to go. I'm just working on that the little description bo book that goes along with it. Um, so if I'm um, not responding to your messages or emails is because I'm um, devoting most of my spare time to completing the cards and getting them out there. So my apologies. I'm not ignoring you. I um, I will get back to you um, as soon as I have a moment. All right. I think that's good. Okay. So masculine beginning with your present position. New beginning taking a leap of faith wow so um, the masculine got this uh, in his near future position for the twin flame reading um, so you are ready to take that leap of faith have a new beginning in life um, let go of your past life uh, you're looking uh, to the future with optimism and hope and excitement um, through a child's eyes so it's not having any expectations, no attachments, just being free and taking that first step towards your destiny. Nice. The King of Cups. Wow. The Divine Feminine. And the Hangman. Okay. So King of Cups could represent a water sign, but this is you um, with your heart chakra wide open. Uh, the King of Cups represents a pinnacle of um, emotional stability. Um, so, feeling free to express your love and receive love. Um, and the love is very pure and very deep. The Divine Feminine Twin Flame is the reason why your heart chakra is wide open. And um, she represents the Goddess of Love. He's the king of love. So you're taking a step towards uh, love. So yeah, this means twin flame, divine feminine, and that's all it means. The hangman is surrendering, letting go of control, seeing things from a completely new perspective. So you're, um, you're seeing things from a higher perspective, from a spiritual standpoint. So there's... Um, changes occurring in your environment yeah big changes uh, and you are allowing love to guide you and surrendering to just taking that leap towards your feminine oh my god okay so foundation oh my god oh my freaking god heart chakra yes yes Unconditional love. I'm not going to pull any additional cards for that. That is so beautiful. That's why you're taking that leap of faith. Okay, recent past position. Firm foundation. So you've been working really hard at grounding um, this union or a new beginning in the 3D. This could also represent being closed off, holding on too tightly, um, and in the reverse as well. So, you know... Either you're holding on too tightly or being closed off and vice versa for someone else. So, let's see what else. Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. So, Queen of Swords could represent a air sign. Um, for me, this is the Divine Feminine. Um, knowing her truth, speaking her truth, being unwavering. And this could be your energy as well. Um, seeing through bullshit. Not being afraid to communicate. Um, and so it's 
mental clarity, but in a feminine kind of way. So um, doing it in a, you know, motherly, um, less harsh kind of energy. So the Eight of Pentacles is um, positive movement forward. So grounding this new beginning and um, working at growing that seed, nurturing it, and there's a sense that you feel like abundance uh, and a payoff is coming towards you. Um, and then the Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning of love. Yeah. So you felt your heart chakra open in the past, quite obviously. Um, you made a decision that was based on your truth. You let go of fear and you um, began working towards making the union a reality in the 3D. So your hopes, this is what you desire and like me to get balance, justice. Um, so this is karma coming back to you in a good way. It's cause and effect. Um, so yeah, there's, you desire um, balance, the number 11. So let's see what else there is. Strength card, temperance, and the page of swords. So strength card, um, using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation around you. Um, so finding strength and bravery in order to um, make something happen. The temperance card is the ultimate union card, the coming together of the twins, the dualities, the yin and the yang. She represents zero point. Um, that the camera shut off. I'm not sure how far I went into explaining. Um, Okay, so balance, finding um, ultimate balance and having karma coming back to you. The strength card is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with a situation. Um, the temperance card is that ultimate union card. It is um, the twins coming together. Um, so it's you know, coming together, the yin and the yang, the dualities. Um, it also represents having balance uh, in the spiritual world as well as the material world. And it also represents having patience while um, the seed is gestating. The page of swords is the double communicator. So you desire to communicate. So pages are messengers, and sword energy is communication. So it's um, you desire uh, union, you desire communicating that, and you're finding that strength um, and will within in order to um, move forward with that. And uh, so um, spirit is saying that if you you know take that step, you take that path. Um, that things are going to work out as you desire. Okay, crossroads position. Nice. Eight of Pentacles again. So positive movement forward. It's um, earth energy, grounding energy. So it's um, feeling successful, like you've built a foundation, <clears throat> sorry, and you're continuing to um, move towards the sun, towards your destiny. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and wow, Two of Cups, Spiritual Union again. So Six of Cups, or sorry, Six of Pentacles. This is the cohabitation card, sharing your life with somebody in 3D. Um, it's a give and a take, um, so sharing your life. Um, this could also represent having enough abundance um, in grounding energy that you can share your wealth and abundance with others. The Three of Swords came up twice on the feminine side for the Twin Flame Union. So there's a sense that the feminine's heart is um, hurting, heavy. Um, so maybe you are aware of that and cautious, or um, you feel like your heart is full and whole if you, you know, continue to work towards that. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to pull a clarifier from the Osho deck for that one. 
the two of cups is spiritual union so you're grounding this union in reality and you're you're feeling successful about it and you're continuing to work towards it um, so this is seeing your soulmate your your twin flame having that deep soul connection at the heart uh, the crown and the um, third eye chakra and all three of those chakras showed up in the twin flame reading oh my god so confirmation that the union is grounded and um, there's movement forward towards spiritual union so let me just pull a card for the three of swords because you know that three of swords energy is not coming from the masculine because his heart is healed um, and he's strong and he's moving he desires union and it seems to me like that's coming so what is this three of swords spirit please source wow <laughs> that is amazing um so this combination the ace of wands and the three of swords came up twice in the twin flame reading both on the feminine side so this energy is what she was bringing into the union and it was also in her present position as well so here we have that ace of wands and the three of swords most definitely coming from the feminine so the masculine you are moving towards this new beginning uh, and feeling excited about it whereas the feminine um, she has desired this union for quite some time and feels that her heart is broken so um, let me read source to you so I feel maybe you're providing healing energy for her, you know, that finally that weight is over and um, that new beginning is coming. So Sorry about that guys, it shut off again, I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, so when we speak of being grounded or centered, it is the source we are talking about. When we begin to begin a creative project, it is source that we tune into. This card reminds us that there is a vast reservoir of energy available to us and that we tap into it not by thinking and planning but by getting grounded, centered and silent enough to contact, uh, to be in contact with source. It is within each of us like a personal individual sun giving us life and nourishment, pure energy, pulsating, available it is ready to give us anything we need to accomplish something and ready to welcome us back home when we, when we want to rest. So whether you are beginning something new um, and need inspiration right now and you've just finished something and want to rest, go to the source. It is always waiting for you and you don't even have to step out of your house to find it. Um, so what I'm feeling from this card is that he is moving towards source towards that new beginning um, yeah you know that still doesn't answer my question about the um, three of swords um, but the synchronicity is incredible I've never seen anything like that before so let me just give it a, a quick shuffle here okay So, what are you resisting? No, that's strange. Okay, so the Hierophant, the High Priest. This showed up in the Divine Masculine's um, position, I think it was present position, uh, for the Twin Flame reading. Or was it the energy that it was bringing in? I can't remember. So, sorry guys. Um, so, the High Priest. This is you in your spiritual form the divine masculine energy uh, so it's someone who is a leader who is wise um, who is shining their light uh, and guiding others out of the darkness uh, so why are you resisting that the moon um, the knight of wands and the hermit um, so the moon card is 
uh, facing your shadow aspect. It is moving through the darkness. It is using your um, psychic and intuitive knowing to guide you. Um, yeah, it's, you know, facing your fears head on, walking through that veil. The Knight of Wands came up in the um, near future for your, the masculine. So this is getting on your horse of fire and riding off towards your destiny. Uh, wand energy has to do with your higher um, purpose and spirituality. So you're resisting fully stepping into your wisdom. Um, the hermit, very similar energy to the hermit. I mean the Hierophant. Uh, the Hermit is detaching from society, going on a, you know, a spiritual quest um, in search of more wisdom and knowledge. And it has to do with, um, you know, detaching from society and the conditions and uh, finding your light within in order to shine brightly um, to guide others out of, out of the darkness. So there's a sense of... Um, you being connected to your spiritual knowing, understanding what your path is, um, however you're resisting stepping into that fully, which you will be doing um, just based on the twin flame reading. You do get on that horse and you do um, ride towards your destiny, but there's a sense that you fear something. You feel that you don't have all the answers just yet. Okay, so your internal environment, no way, Ace of Cups, another synchronicity, the feminine got this, um, I can't remember, sorry guys, but uh, yeah, so it's a brand new beginning of love, so internally, uh, your heart chakra is open, um, you've healed yourself, your heart, uh, you let go of the past, um, you've forgiven yourself and you've forgiven others and now you're this open vessel of love oh and you want a new beginning with your feminine wow the chariot again six of swords and the death card holy cow okay you're serious about this so the um, chariot again the Divine Masculine got this twice um, in the Twin Flame reading. So this is um, going towards your goal, your destiny, your dreams, um, the things that make you happy. This is a water card, so it has to do with emotions. Um, and it's taking the reins and steering yourself. Um, it's self-control and directed will towards that thing that you're happy about, you know, that makes you happy and, you know, feel all the good feels. Uh, the Six of Swords is finally making that decision to walk away from negative energy. So here we have a man walking away and a feminine kind of turned um, uh, turned away. So they're facing in different opposite directions. Um, so this is stilling the mind. It's moving from a chaotic state to a calm state. So it's making that decision. Uh, to not engage in, in negative people, negative behavior, and um, you are putting an end to your old life. So this death card represents um, letting go of your you know, old identity. It's shedding the skin. It's, um, you know, the butterfly coming out of the chrysalis. So it is letting go of your old identity, your ego, um, your old attachments, uh, and letting them all fall. And from that you are reborn. And so there's a sense that you are seriously um, letting go of some major heavy energy here. Uh, and in the Twin Flame reading it was the Devil card. And so you are focused on this new beginning of love and you desire to go towards it. A lot of movement forward for the mask on. I apologize about my hands. I've obviously I've been doing a little bit more work on my cards. So 
giving a little bit more definition. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, so what is the external environment? No way! Oh my god! Huh? So, Two of Cups, it showed up as the heart centered energy, shared energy in the twin flame union. So many synchronicities. So, this is um, seeing your soulmate. Um, and you're feeling this energy in your environment. So, you're feeling this um, intense love with your twin flame. And that's what you're moving towards. So, I'm not going to pull any further cards for that, but it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the outcome for the, these three cards here. No way. Oh my god. Ace of Pentacles. New beginning in the material world, 3D world. So, um, yeah. I'm going to pull some cards for that. Nice. The Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands again. And the Four of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles is uh, the Divine Feminine in her 3D form. could represent uh, a water sign as well. But this is um, someone who is independent, stands on her own, who is um, the Queen that you can hold and feel and um, share your life with in the 3D. So this is 3D energy here, new beginning uh, with your Divine Feminine. And the Ace of Wands, once again, brand new beginning of life, starting from zero, like the Fool. And it has to do with your higher calling, your higher destiny, your higher purpose. So, two ones, eleven. And then the Four of Cups is um, longing and, um, you know, feeling like things are stagnant. Uh, things aren't moving fast enough. And this is also not receiving or accepting a cup of love that was being offered to you um, or somebody not accepting it. So, you know, maybe you're afraid that the feminine won't want this new beginning with you. So that is three aces all in a row or four aces. That's incredible. Uh, and the, you know, two of cups twice. So um, you've really made some major decisions um, to move forward with this union and so there's still this fear here that maybe the feminine won't accept that love or new beginning or um, maybe you fear that she um, maybe holds resentment because you didn't accept that cup of love in the past so letting go of that fear is probably what's stopping you from moving forward fully Okay, so the foundation, power, strength card again. So you got this in what you desire. And um, so overall energy, you know, oh, the summary outcome is that you are trying to find that strength in order to take that leap of faith. Also, um, this is dealing with a situation with kindness and compassion. So, um if you are, you know, dealing with heartbreak of some kind in your near future with the Three of Swords, um, you know, it's deal with that situation with kindness and love. And, uh, yeah, you won't go wrong. Okay. The Queen of Wands. Six of Cups again. And Ten of Swords again. So Queen of Wands uh, could represent fire energy, but this is um, what you desire. Um, so the Queen, or sorry, the Wand energy is desires, um, sexuality, um, the pa the things that make you passionate. Um, she is the center of attention. She is um, very charismatic. Um, women want to be like her, men desire her. So you're moving towards the sun or you're finding strength in order to move towards that energy. Um, the Six of Cups is 
a reunion, someone from your past coming back. Uh, so someone from your childhood or from a past life. Uh, so somebody that represents pure, innocent emotions. Um, they are emotions that you hold very dear to your heart. Um, so, yeah. And the Ten of Swords, um, you got this in as a foundation in the Twin Flame reading. Uh, so it's an ending, a ten completion. Uh, it's uh, ending a dark night of the soul. Finally cutting away any, ne any negative energy. Um, and you're doing that with the Death card and the Six of Swords. Very similar. So, yeah. Um, it's, you know, feeling stabbed in the back over and over again and um, and being left for dead so it's an ending to that so there's something that is coming to completion and you're finding strength and courage um, to do that and do it from a loving space um, and you're doing that so that you can reunite with this fire energy the one you desire source. Okay, and final outcome. Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Repeated theme once again. You're finding your independence. So Nine of Pentacle, Pentacles is ripeness. Uh, harvest. The fruit is ready to drop from the branches. So um, this also again represents independence. Being financially um, able to you know, provide for yourself and um, feel, you know, free enough to enjoy the finer things in life. You know, take trips, go on a vacation, that kind of thing. So um, in the future, that harvest is coming. The thing that you are presently waiting for in the Twin Flame Union, the seven um, represents patience while you're waiting for that harvest. And here's that harvest. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands and the King of Wands. Oh my God! So Eight of Wands uh, could represent communication, so texting or phone call. It represents Cupid's arrows. Um, so it's that energy coming towards you. Um, this is also reaching for the stars, your highest dreams, your higher purpose, your higher visions. Your, you know, uh, something that is um, spiritual. Um, so reaching for that and that energy is now coming towards you harvest abundance prosperity and your twin flame love so four of wands once again that it's that 1111 calling card that I use for um, all the decks and um, this represents you know that uh, completion with your twin flame and you know, it uh, could represent marriage, engagement, buying a home, travel, you know, new job. But it's a new life. It's a new start. Arrival. One moment. Oh my god, I just got a crazy tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on uh, with this reading. This is the third time I've, I've uh, had problems with my tape. So, um, what, what was I saying? Okay, so this is all one energy. It's all fiery, passionate, um, the thing that makes you come alive. And the King of Wands, um, here we have the Queen of Wands, and you are coming in as a king, so I don't know if you recognize that, that's Brad Pitt from Fight Club. So um, it's very fiery um, energy, it's like, um, you know, strength, authority, um, uh, he's very, he's in his masculine energy with the, with the, the king here. He's the center of the sun. So it's taking control, um, making decisions, um, and going for it, basically. So, yeah, there's, as an outcome, this amazing energy is coming towards you in abundance, um, both in spiritual way and the material way and it has to do with your twin flame connection and you are stepping into your strength crazy okay so I'm not going to shuffle it you guys can reverse the tape if you 
I think I messed with the cards here. So, um, let's go to the bottom, obstacles and challenges. So five of wands is, there's one thing that, um, one tiny little challenge that you need to overcome. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is always a positive card. It represents growth. Um, it's made to um, make your light shine brighter, give you courage and strength and um, self-confidence. So once you overcome this tiny little obstacle, you'll feel proud and um, more determined in order to continue on your spiritual journey. So you're finding courage and strength in order to do that. And, well, I got a meter tickle there in my throat, so usually when I get a tickle, it has to do with communication. So, the Divine Masculine, you got the Page of Swords twice. Um, so, you are bringing that into the union, and plus, it is something that you desire. So, speak your truth. Um, don't be afraid. And, um, you know, it, as long as you orient your compass to two north, your higher calling, your higher self, uh, you can never go wrong. So... And the truth is always the way. Okay, so I am going to pull one card from Call It Bear and Read, and I will read that to you. So yeah, check out that twin flame reading. That was incredible. Okay, this one's sticking out. Details, details. So you are just um, finishing up some final details. Not a big deal. Tiny little obstacle. Okay, so the most powerful pattern are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. This is time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it is a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures, or add personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, and when it's too late. Clarity and transparency are key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. Um, so, not really understand that last part, you know, like um, paying attention to body and language and that kind of thing. Um, what I really, what really stood out to me is clarity and transparency are key. So that goes along with what I was saying in terms of speaking your truth um, and using your, you know, internal, um, in, your intuition in order to guide you as well as your heart. But it just seems to me like you you know, you're just cashing up on some minor details, and um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, guys, let me know if this resonates. I always love to hear your, your feedback and your comments. So yeah, peace, much love.